I'm a Porsche fan, I'm a Porsche collector, I'm a Porsche driver, I'm obsessed by Porsche. I have been for the past 40 years. To me, there's not a day goes by that I'm not doing something with a Porsche. Growing up as a kid in Sheffield, north of England, Porsches were not a common sight on the road. My background was working class. When I was a 10-year-old, my dad took me to the London Olds Court Motor Show. And on the Porsche stand, I saw the white Martini Turbo with a red and blue racing stripe down the side. And that was when my love affair with Porsche began. I had the poster on the wall. I had the dream. I never gave up on that dream. Fifteen years after I fell in love with him, I acquired my first Porsche. It represented freedom. Freedom for me to drive wherever I wanted to go at whatever speed I wanted to go at. I like cars with flaws. Nothing's ever perfect. Nothing ever needs to be perfect for me. I don't really have that much interest in an old car with low miles because it means it's never been driven. But when people come to me and tell me about their car that has hundreds of thousands of miles on it, that's something I'm interested in. I don't think my Porsche collection will ever be complete. Now my ultimate goal when it comes to Porsche is one of everything Porsche's ever made in a sports car. So the story of car number 277, perhaps the car I'm most associated with, started life as a 1971 911T. My goal was to modify the car. By 2001, the car was looking like a 73 RS Carrera and I uh, joined what was known as the Porsche Owners Club and I took my spirited, aggressive street driving to the racetrack for the first time and over the next six or seven years did 40, 50 track days a year in 277. It's the car I'm most comfortable in. I describe it often as like my favorite pair of old shoes. It just feels right. There's nothing like the first drive on the open road by yourself. Everything comes together from the moment you open the door, step in, close the door with that familiar click, turn the key, engine fires to life, and then something magical happens. It's this sensory overload of sound and smell and energy and vibration. Then the journey begins. The greatest thing about Southern California and why I call Los Angeles home is the accessibility to world-class driving roads, such as the one we're on right now, Angeles Crest Highway. To me, it's like meditation. It's visceral, it's raw, it's intoxicating, it's loud, it's energetic, and that is the heartbeat of any portion. People say, oh, you got lucky. Well, I think luck only gets you so far. Determination, hard work, and grit get you further. 